Okay, all right, Um. so, hey guys. So again, it's me, Ryan with the Historical Society, and this is Carlita. Hi everyone, how are you? So Carlita, um, she just lives two blocks from me. She is near, if I show you the church, that is the Ascension St. Susanna campus that um, she grew up near, That's, that is city-owned property. And we have some other city-owned properties that Carlita wanted to tell us about that turned because as you all know, the mayor was very quick to confront me when I was trying to take photographs of the cities across, the buildings across from City Hall that we wanted to save and he wants to demolish. And he was quick to say, oh, get away from there because we're responsible for your safety since it's a city-owned property. Well, according to Carlita, here's another city-owned property right by her house. And um, what is this looking like, Carly? It doesn't look too good. Nope. Um, as you see, in June of 2023, I put in a report um, to the city um, regarding the structure, the brick, because yeah. it looks like it's falling in. Right. And also, too, I have a six-year-old son who plays in the back, but it was, a, you know, it's a concern because the residents, too, whoever's walking or whatever, it could fall in, cave right. in. Right. So after that, you know, we learned about the um, 153rd Street project. So this will be demoed along with my house and the other residents' um, homes that are on this block. But um, we just learned this year, or 2023, that mm -hmm. the um, this building and this building right here are city-owned by a city worker who was cleaning. Mm. Um, they finally did a cleanup and. They said that they, the city was cleaning up everything that was city owned. Okay. So, um, as you see this building right here, I mean, it's in much disrepair. Right. The, the, yeah, look the at stairs mm -hmm. are falling. Um, the doors are open, so somebody's been in there. Right, right. Yeah, it looks like those those two buildings at least are, are lived in. Um, and... Uh, <clears throat> And I know I share with with Carlita my one of my concerns, um, and especially uh, just advocating with the historical society, is that a lot of these buildings, including um, this, the lovely old Ascension campus, there are investors. That even the buildings that are in kind of rough shape, like this one, there are folks that are are experienced and they're willing to put in their own money to um, to fix up these buildings. And in some cases, you know, they're so bad that they might only be able to save the outer walls but remember the bricks alone are, are so valuable yes. and so so um our fear one of our fears is that the mayor is trying to demolish so many things because in addition to potential kickbacks that politicians will get from demolition companies they literally are are selling off the wealth of Harvey, they get a lot of money for these bricks. So we're gonna just go take a little look to see uh, what shape um, Ascension is in. This is where um, I was baptized. This is where my- uh, where I went to kindergarten school. Yes, <laughs> she was a little kindergartner here. Yeah. Uh, but this is, um, the church was closed uh, within the past, I think, what, in 2021? 2021. Um, by the Archdiocese, which unfortunately did a lot of uh, closures of, of churches, even many churches that were viable. Um, now, Carlita said, though, she had never seen it in such rough shape until the city of Harvey bought it uh, this year. And as you see, um, that window's open. Right, and, the, and what, what always weirded me out, Carlita, and I know you said this too, is that it, it's uh, just about sundown here, and the lights are on, and in the rectory, look it. It's like, well, what in the heck? Who's living in there? And if the mayor who, you know, confronted me when I was just trying to take pictures um, of buildings we wanted to save from a public sidewalk, you know, if he's saying, oh, no, 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 get away from there. We're, we're responsible for the safety of everyone in the building because it's city owned. Well, well, what in the heck? Look, this grass hasn't been mowed. No. We have lights on. The, I don't know who's the, come in these buildings. The, when the church closed in 2021, um, they still kept the grounds up. Once the city, I guess, purchased, it, right. it's never looked like this, never. Yeah. And the whole time I've lived across the street. It's so sad. And then, and then I, um, the I have yet to read the report, but I know the Harvey World Herald just reported that uh, that there was supposedly a death in one of the buildings or something. But there was a photo sent to me of it was in this general area where there was an ambulance that had pulled up. So I don't know what it looks like on this side of the rectory. But um, but you know we just we just were trying to show people what 
Um, uh, oh yeah, I think that's part of the church too, right? Yeah, that burns up um, in July. Okay. Mm -hmm. It caught a fire. So there's a there's a it's a lovely uh, uh, you know campus because they they have a lot of really really nice brick buildings that were not cheap to build. So obviously this amongst the other buildings the city owns were like, hey, sell them, put them on the market. There are people that are willing to fix them up so that they can be used again. Um, the beautiful school building um, down there, which we'll walk by, um, that would be a perfect. Um, that's a perfect candidate for, I think they have federal grants right now or something, but to fix up housing for, um, for migrants and other people who need housing. But I mean, the point is that, that there's so many grants and incentives and programs out there that the city could take advantage of. And instead, um, the mayor just wants to demolish everything. So it's crazy, including people's houses. Look, yeah, look, look, including, they still live exactly. in the house. Fun, a functioning house is going to get torn down. And we have houses that have been abandoned for years, you know. Um, and that, and they don't touch them. Nope. They don't touch them. It's just, it's so backwards, you guys. Look, look at these beautiful homes on this block. Look at that. So these are, these are like Carlita and, and some of her neighbors, these are our Harvey citizens that actually care yes. about their community. Mm -hmm. And why, why, are, why are they pushing to push these people out? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I think, a lot of us think that someone, there, someone's making money off of this. So we, don't, we may not know exactly how or why. Uh, like I said, is it, is it kickbacks from demolition? And is let's it, not forget, you know, the majority of the homeowners that are on 153rd and Myrtle, they are elderly. They are in their 70s, their 80s. My right. father included, who's 88 years old. So it's like, no, you don't care. You just kick out your long residence. And long how, ma how residence. many widows do you guys have in the block? Four. At least one, right? Four. Oh, four. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know if you guys watched the videos that I shared, but um, in the September 7th meeting, one of the... The, the mayor and some of his aldermanic allies, they were laughing in the, in the meeting that they had um, regarding this Myrtle uh, Avenue stuff. And, um, and one of the widows had to leave the meeting because she, so, she got emotional. It's like, how can, you, yeah. how can you laugh at people suffering like this? Exactly. Like literally, this is all they have. They want to finish out their lives in dignity, in dignity and peace. They raise their children. Maybe they have grandchildren, okay? But like, you're making them move and it's for something that you don't even, they don't even need to do. So okay. in here, I'll flip this over. I wanted to show you guys this lovely building. I did not go to school here, but my mother did, so. Now this this has not been you know in use for a while. It would definitely need work, but it is not past um, you know it's it definitely is salvageable. It's a beautiful beautiful solid brick building. It's also you know it's been a lot of it's been boarded up for a while, so it has been protected from the elements at least. Uh, but this would be something where again you have all these different sorts of grant programs that are available to fix these buildings up, maybe make it housing or. Who knows uh, business space or community uh, uh, you know space there, there's so many options but uh, what do we do when the mayor won't he won't even put these buildings up for sale not only that here I want to get in here go look Carly get in here yeah I mean look oh look at that there's three garages too three oh and then another one uh oh it looks like that's open though that's not good so I mean, this it's, this is not a decrepit, rundown, um, rundown church campus. You guys look like it's pretty well cared for, but yeah, they just did um, tuck pointing before they closed down in 2021. So it was time that they did close down when they did because they just had their work with the bricks. Right. And, and, and again, why, why are they not trying, why is the city not trying to sell something that is so beautiful and could be used for other things? Um, not only that, but like we said, we have, we're, we're, we're also trying to tie in what's happening here with, um, uh, the issue with the apartments on Halstead and, and the fact that they were trying to trap the people in there, boarding them up. And not following the proper procedures again. What? Why are we putting money, mm -hmm. bef and, uh, um, before people? Right. It's, yeah. it's. This is crazy. You know. It's. It all. What do you notice? It all has to deal with money and property, Carlita. Yes. Exactly. Um, 
So um, it's really sad. You know, um, people. The first thing that you need is you need shelter, right? So that's a basic uh, need that you would need as a person. Right. And to take right. that away um, it was really sad right. and disheartening. Right. I exactly. Exactly. Oh, I love how you look in front of the church. Oh, so. I, although churches are always so romantic. <laughs> such a romantic. Look at you guys. Look yeah, how yeah. how could someone want to demolish such such a romantic building and yeah. so many memories and and look at these these beautiful houses here. We'll come over here and we'll turn. We'll get you in front of your house. Well, Harvey fans, as you know, I and others of you that care we need to keep speaking out and do as much as we can to not only save these beautiful historic buildings but our lovely neighbors like carlita who want to stay yes. in their homes yes. and they're happy here and we want to keep them as as neighbors and there's no reason whatsoever other than um uh money mm -hmm. that they need to, to to leave there's no reason whatsoever so please keep speaking out and um Remember the, the four widows on this block? And yes. I don't know, anything else you want to say? Um, you know, just keep supporting us. You know, my dad, who's 88 years old, you know, my heart goes out to him because who wants to leave their home that they work so hard for? Um, you're 88 years old. Who wants to move at that point in your life? That's Moving is a life-changing event. Who wants to do that when you're in your 70s and your 80s? No one does. Right, right. Amen to that. So keep it up, you guys. Sign the petitions. And, um, and you know, we're not, we're not going to give up. Uh, we, we love Harvey. We love our, our neighbors. And um, we'll keep you updated. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.